This movie, 1831, follows Nat Turner. It's a literate slave who led the most successful slave revolt in American history. Is that 15 seconds? That was less. Yeah. yeah. Was okay. Did I nail it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Big me up. Help me out. Help me out. I know you've been working on this film for a long time. Why yeah. did you want to tell this story? Um, I, well, I, I think it's, for one, I, I felt it was, it was timely. At some point, dealing with injustice in your life, um, you say to yourself, how will I use my art to address injustices in my, in my life? And that turned as a hero to me. I feel like he was someone that used the means that he had to, to face injustice. I felt like this was, this was something that I could contribute to the conversation. Since this is Nate's directorial debut, I'd love to hear from the actors about how he works as a director. Only the good things. Only the good things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got a story about this. So it's his first time directing a movie, and he also wrote it, and he also is going to star in it. I was like, I want to see how this goes. I want to see how he fares on set as like a learning device. And it didn't work at all because he showed up on the first day in a suit, like with a tie. He's like, move that camera over there. Bring me a viewfinder with this lens. Move that light six feet that way. Get the cast over here now. Get the blah, blah, blah. And it was like watching a guy who directed 50 movies. And you know, it is a scary thing to accept a job when you know it. It's a first time director. It was just incredibly refreshing that this guy was amazing. And I, I've worked with first-time directors, too, where they just don't really know what they're doing. So Nate was so ready. I mean, he knew everybody's name and thanked everybody every day. And it was just a wonderful environment to, to be in. I just, being around this man, his energy, you would, you would follow him anywhere. And so he would just look me in the eyes, and it, would, it just dropped in immediately. And we were there, and he was no longer my director, but he was my scene partner, my, my lover, my friend. And then he'd call cut, and it was like, oh wow, like something magical just happened. I mean, I've, I've never been hugged and embraced and cried with not just cast, but the director. You know, I've worked with Michael Bay. He's not a hugger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm blushing. I don't know if you can tell. I spoke to Nate earlier, and he feels like resistance sort of lives in the air in this moment. Do you feel like that has something to do with this being the right time for this film? This is perfect timing at a time that this country and the world desperately needs it. When you can look at a 12-year-old boy shot in less than two seconds and not see that child's humanity or his worth, right. um, this movie is, is desperately needed. What's well, important to recognize that there's an injury that we're still tethered to because there's been no honest confrontation. We do a good job of detailing uh, things that happened abroad historically. But when it comes to the things that have happened here, there have been so many things that have been sanitized that we don't know the truth from the lies. This is what we went through. This is what happened. I just want to show the humanity of these people, show how systems that are corrupt, corrupt people if they're not unchecked. Right. Would you guys like to do uh, the ring toss? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. ring Roll up the sleeves. Everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from The Hollywood Reporter.